The traditional application method for Flex Rock is by trowel, where you mix colors and texturize your Flex Rock finish right on the surface using a few basic techniques that you should master fairly quickly. We'll show you some of those in a few moments. If you're not convinced and want nothing to do with a trowel, understood. So for you, we'll approach this from a completely different angle. The Flex Rock Hard Rock Texture Roller. Flex Rock's roll-on method allows you to produce beautiful multicolored faux texture floor finishes in a fraction of the time it might take you to create your trowel applied masterpiece. All you do is decide which colors you want and the order in which you wish to apply them. From there, it's pretty straightforward. Roll it on and you stop when you like what you see. Okay, now we have product in our tray. I'm just going to uh, take some water and spray it to make it moist so that when I pick it up with the roller, it's going to spread evenly onto the surface. I'm going to load up the roller quite well, but uniformly. And I'm just going to start rolling it on my primed surface. So I'm just going to put it on in a fairly uniform way, but at the same time, I'm going to allow just a little bit of the primer to show through. This is going to be a wet in wet application. I've got just a little bit of the primer showing through and I have enough texture there that when I add the second color in I'm going to get a very interesting and attractive effect. So let's go ahead and get that second color. To keep the surface moist in between the first and second color I can just lightly mist the surface area that I'm working on so that I have a good blend of the two colors when I actually apply. So now we're adding in the secondary lighter color and I'm going to do that in a more random way. I don't want to cover the entire surface. What I really want to do is just add a nice highlight into this and give it some textural and tonal interest. This is going to allow the surface to look like a very attractive stone surface and the roller is doing all the work. Now that I've got the product down, I'm just going to lightly roll over the whole surface to allow the roller to stipple up the material in a uniform way. Once I like what I see, I let it dry. Now let's just peel up our flagstone stencil to see the natural stone pattern we've created. To soften and further refine the texture, sanding is another great option with Flex Rock. Just move your sanding tool using 80 grit gauge in a circular motion and shave down the peaks after your Flex Rock has dried. When you like what you see, stop and remove all sanding dust with a vacuum.